Because of the widespread closures of COVID-19, many women are either losing their income or working from home, all while kids are out of school and expected to complete online assignments, something that generally doesn't happen without supervision of a parent. And it's the mother who usually takes on that role. We have an office here in Chicago, guys, and then uh, in New York, and then we have office in Bangalore and India, 60 people, and in Africa. We're just opening in Nigeria as well. So usually I travel a lot. So. Leah Ramachandra is the CEO of healthcare data management company Astalinx and the mother of three kids who have suddenly become a distraction from her job as the coronavirus pandemic thrust her entire family into working and learning from home. My husband is amazing. He does a lot, but he's, he's the a president in one of the big companies so it's 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 just a lot of work non-stop but yes we close his door and and usually they gravitate towards me especially the little one comes to me and constantly like mommy i want this in households where two parents work full time the pew research center says mothers still spend nearly twice as much time on child care than fathers and that tendency is suddenly exacerbated all over the u.s where one or both parents are forced to work at home to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. My husband works at, he's in the healthcare industry, so he does EEGs, and this week he's been working 12-hour shifts. Teacher Whitney Kalka is facing the daunting task of educating her Montessori class of first, second, and third graders online, while also supervising her three-year-old. I know it's going to be messy because we've never done this before, but I know that we are going to provide the best we can as teachers. Like Whitney, 77% of the nation's 3.7 million teachers are women, and many of them are suddenly working from home as schools close in at least 33 states. That's in addition to more than 19 million women in jobs that can be done from home, like management and finance, with many of them switching to remote work as companies take steps to avoid the spread of COVID-19. If you're a working mom and suddenly you're thrust into this working from home thing, I really encourage everybody to get a schedule down, right? We don't have to over schedule. We're, we do that anyway. But just the idea of having, creating this, this new normal, creating a sense of normalcy within this new normal. For the nation's 9.5 million restaurant employees, the new normal is the fear of losing most or all of their income as cities force restaurants to close. More than half of those workers are women, and many are single parents. We're not always really good at women supporting women. So maybe this is a wonderful opportunity to say, how can I help? my neighbor who's struggling that maybe I didn't know about before. Nikki Anderson is director of a Benedictine University program for women. She says women are hit especially hard during a crisis because of the maternal instinct to feel responsible for the health of all family members. I think that as mothers, we are programmed. It is in our DNA to take care and to be nurturers. Another daunting challenge is faced by mothers who cannot work from home, like those in the healthcare industry, where women hold more than three quarters of the jobs. With schools unexpectedly closed, some are scrambling to find a nanny as daycare centers shut down, while others who can't afford that are struggling to find family, friends, or neighbors to help. 